<laughs> What's up, modern steaders? I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update on the bear cub situation we got going on. You can see them right out there by the beehive. We had Fish and Game come over and take a peek at him. She thinks he looks pretty lethargic. Yep, that's the word I'm trying to say. But we can't find anything wrong with him other than he probably hasn't gotten enough food and that he is an orphan. So you can see the bear cub there behind me. I don't know, I'm halfway between the house and the cub. So it's not that far from us. I was talking to the lady from Fish and Game and she was saying if they decide to trap it, they will use a large have a heart trap and they will trap it and then take it to their rehabilitation center. So we'll wait and see. We'll keep you guys updated. Like I was telling her, I'd rather have something happen with the bear if they can take it. Otherwise, we're going to be out here working in the yard and the pig pasture this year is going to be right over here. And then I want to clean up that apple tree right there. And that's kind of our one of our next projects is to get started on that because the pigs will be here and I don't know, Mother's Day weekend, so not that far away. We need to start getting everything ready. The spring is upon us. The ground's unfrozen. Right there is a big mud hole. That's where we keep the tractor. But that's all dried up. So we're hoping to get working here pretty soon. So hopefully they can take care of the bear and get it out of here. And we won't scare it off. And We'd hate for something to happen to it and out get ran over or anything. The road is right there straight out. So if we start working, the bear's just going to take right off. And So that's what I was telling her. If they can come pick it up, take it out of here and do something. Well, because it is an orphan. It is last year's cub, so it's not very old. I don't think it's more than 50 pounds. It hasn't bothered the chickens yet. And she doesn't think, and I don't think it's going to go too far. It hasn't moved in the last day and a half. So I'm not too worried. The beehive and the bear cub is there. We'll pan around and there, ooh, there's the chicken coop. So I mean, it's not a far distance from where the bear cub is, but that bear cub's not moving either. So we had the binoculars out and we were looking at them. We can't find anything wrong with the bear cub. It looks pretty healthy. It's just very slow and sluggish. We don't know what happened to its mother. She said she's going to call and talk with her boss and figure out what they want to do. They do have a rehabilitation area in New Hampshire. And they were releasing like four to six year old cubs today. So they would have room to take this one if they need to. So we're just going to let this cub be for at least another day before we go outside, work in this area, and scare her off. We, we really don't care that the cub is here, but with our dog Pluto and our chickens and our daughter and our soon-to-be pigs, we don't want it here getting into all that stuff. We are pretty close to the road, a main road, so we don't want to scare it off into the woods if they're going to take it and do something with it. So we're going to wait one more day, find out what they have to say about it, and then we'll keep you guys updated. The one who's really not liking the bear cub being around here the most is Pluto. She wasn't able to go outside yesterday at all other than to go to the bathroom and same today. I'm not going to let her run around. We did walk her up the road the other way, but as soon as you let her out of our basement door down here, her nose just goes up and she starts sniffing. She knows there's something around here. and. And we just want to keep an eye on her and we don't want her getting into it with the bear. So that's probably one of the bigger concerns right now. So what would you guys do if this happened at your property? Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know. What do you have for recommendations for us if Fish and Game doesn't trap it and take it out of here? And we'll see you guys tomorrow right back here at Lumna Acres.